Hello, my name's Lucky and I just had a little operation and here's a vlog about it all. Thanks for watching. Hmm. Hello Luxster. Are you going to tell people what's wrong with you? It's like he's going to the vet tomorrow and he's going to be kept in and he's going to have a little operation. So, basically, should we show people your mouth? You look, see that teeth at the bottom at the front? <laughs> the one that's sticking out. You can just about see it, it's there. <laughs> Sorry mate, I know. I didn't touch it though, so it doesn't hurt. Basically, that's fallen <laughs> loose. It's not fallen, it's loose. And um, because it's moved forward, the other teeth have pushed it forward and it's loose. It's made the gums at the front of his mouth really sore. And so um, it's loose and it's wobbly like this. That's why it keeps licking. <laughs> And so they're going to take it out. And they're probably going to have to take out the two behind it as well. Because where it's pushed forward, it's got some decay, like, around it. We don't know yet. We think it's probably going to have... It's between one or four teeth taken out at the front there. You don't need to touch it, do you? Look, them ones at the front at the bottom. Not the... Should we open... No, oh, no, mummy. Please don't play. And the other thing he's going to have done, should we show people your bump? He has, <laughs> on his chest here, it's just there, you probably can't see it, he's got a big fatty lump, it's not big, it's only small, and so he's going to have that removed at the same time, so he's going to be sedated tomorrow, and then they're going to take the lump out first, remove the lump first of all, and he's going to have some teeth taken out. And Lucky is 10 years old this year, in August, and the doctor vet said that he has got very good teeth for a 10 year old. In fact, his teeth are so clean and well looked after that a 4 year old would be happy <laughs> to have those teeth. And they said that usually by 10 there's a lot of decay and whatever. But they're going to give all the rest of his teeth a clean as well at the same time. So, next time you see Lucky, well tonight he can't be fed after, well, he'll be fed at normal time. Because we feed him, we split his meals up twice, once in the morning and once in the afternoon. So he has a breakfast and a dinner. But after midnight he can't be fed. He's like, going to be like a gremlin. Never feed him after midnight. And then... Tomorrow he can't have his breakfast and he's got to be taken in. We've got to take him in at ten past eight. And then hopefully we'll be picking him up later in the afternoon. Well, I say hopefully. We will be picking him up later in the afternoon. If he's all sort of like, you know. Hi, he's so cute. My dog is so very cute. And it's nearly time for him to have his fur removed. <laughs> Now we get him clifford. It's, it's spring every year and then he goes to be looking like a um, smooth coated Jack Russell for a while. But we're not going to have that done until he's he's healed. His stitches will have healed in his chest. So that's for all the people asking what's happening with Lucky. And, um, and then I'll give you, I'll, I'll carry on this footage and have a little bit of a vlog about Lucky's veterinary operation and experience he's been under before he had um a back problem when we first got him he's so cute you are so cute anyway i'm gonna leave him to sleep because it's really early it's 6 40. is it 6 40? oh no it's moved on a little bit now 6 52 nearly seven o'clock and i'm gonna go downstairs and do some kitchen decluttering and leave him to sleep on the bed like a naughty doggy that he is
it's a nice day, nice blue sky, nice blue clear sky. It's half past eight, half past eight in the morning, and we've just dropped Lucky off at the vet. Oh, and I cried when they took him in because you have to sign a bit of paper. Oops, wobbly, sorry. You have to sign a bit of paper that says you might not survive the anaesthetic. And it just makes me really, really... You pull it out then? Okay, please don't let anyone hit us from behind because we had to stop. Um, yeah, it was like, it just, oh, I don't know. I'm a, I cry at anything, but when, after we walked out without him and he, he tried to follow us out, I was like, oh my God. And uh, on top of that, look, broke my glasses. Oh, my glasses broke this morning, so they kindly sellotaped it for me in the vet because the arm was broken off. Which is handy because I'm going to Specsavers today anyway. Because the glasses that I bought at Christmas are just, they are no good. I cannot see it. Anyway, right, that's it. I'm going home to cry a little bit more and have breakfast and then go to Specsavers. We're now going to Petsart Home to buy some soft dog food. So where are we? It is 14.53. I went to the optician, Specsavers, to take my glasses back. They said, oh yeah, the prescription of them is wrong. We're going to get you retested. Can you do this afternoon at one thirty? <coughs> so we went home, had some lunch, and 20 minutes later, went back to the opticians again. And I had my eyes retested. And they've made gonna remake the glasses. The prescription is basically it was six in each eye or whatever, they're at six fifty in each eye. I don't know what they're doing, but either way. So I'm pissed off with spec savers. So consequently I went to my local optician and booked into tomorrow to have another eye test because I want to see how he compares to spec savers. Because how can I have my eye tested by three different people and three different results? In the meantime, of all of that, the vet phone to say that dear old Lucky, he's out of the anaesthetic and had to have five teeth taken out. Only three were wobbly and they removed three wobbly ones, but he just left two on their own, so they've removed them too as well. And he's also had his lump done. And they've said that he needs to have soft food. Now he eats dry food, so we've come down to Pets at Home to buy some soft food for him and we're picking him up at four. So there you go. That's where we are. We have literally probably stopped for about 10 minutes today, haven't we? 20. 20. 20. You thought it was going to be a nice straightforward day off work, didn't you? No. Which is the real thing we're always running around. Right. We're going to go to Hobbycraft. No. Just a little, just a little, little look at Hobbycraft. Okay. How are you doing, bubs? you got such a sad look on your face. How are you doing? Just picked you up from the bed, haven't we? How are you doing? Alright, well you've been sad and crying. And you've got the help. And you're a bit dopey looking. Poor baby. Gonna have a little sleep on the bed. Sad. You've got a plaster on your belly, haven't you? Don't jump off the bed. Because your chest is sore. You've got stitches. I know. Poor little baby. <laughs> You're floppy bunny, aren't you? You're a good boy. Has daddy coming? Poor little baby. There he is. <laughs> You're so cute looking. Hello matey. Just been outside. Do you want to give people an update on your belly and your teeth? Where should we do it? Go in the front room and do it? Come here. Come on. <laughs> come on Lucky. Lucky, come here. Okay, sit down. Sit. Good boy. Now. You're going to see your chest. You're going to be a good boy. See your little scar under there? Good boy. See his scar from where he had his lump removed. 
You're really nice. You're a good boy lifting your paw up for me. And this one? We you see your teeth? All the way. So, bottom teeth all gone. You're a good boy. And no more pain. Yeah? So you say, just paw. Just paw, Lux. <laughs> Lux, just paw. And say, hey, all people of the internet. Look at his sad little face. You're much better now though, aren't you? You're all healing nicely. You've been for your follow-up at the vet. And then you've got a follow-up next Monday as well. So you thank everyone on the internet for your good wishes, don't you? Yeah. You're a good boy. <laughs> Get a ball paw as well. I don't know where he had the drip put in. Oh.